which I did. Sure, but we'd established, I think, a second ago, I thought you told Senator Kennedy that you resigned from Jones Day over a client that the firm was representing who you didn't like. Senator, that is not at all what I said. I did. You didn't resign from Jones Day? Senator, I did not resign from Jones Day because of any particular representation. Oh, I, so it wasn't, a, it wasn't a moral, you had no moral quandaries? Absolutely not, Senator. I you left had no the, moral quandaries with any of the cases at Jones Day? That's your testimony? Senator, I left the firm in January of 2021 because I was offered an opportunity to return to public service. It's okay. an opportunity the firm supported and that I took. You had no quandaries with them representing in the Trump litigation. You had Senator, no problem with that. That's your testimony. Senator, I did not leave my firm because of that representation. You had I no left moral my problem firm. With it. Senator, I left the firm months later because I received an opportunity to you return to public. You had no problem with that and you service. had no problem representing the bondholders. So your your testimony is you're you're happy to represent anybody who comes your way. Donald Trump, you bet. The bondholders, you bet. Hedge funds, you bet. Whoever. That's that's your testimony. I just want to make sure I got it right. Senator, throughout my career, I have adhered to the code of ethics that all lawyers are bound by. Well, sure, but the code of ethics allow you to make money from anybody. I'm, I'm Listen, you can choose your clients. I'm not accusing you of any ethical violations at all. I'm not. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why you thought it was important to have these hedge funds as your clients and if you had any moral quandaries. And your testimony is you didn't have any moral quandaries, which is fine, but I just... Wonder if that's the best judgment. That's Senator, throughout my career, I am I am proud that I have fulfilled- Want to fulfilled say anything to people of Puerto Rico while we're here? Please let her finish the answer. Your time has expired. Go ahead. Thank you, Chair Durbin. Throughout my career, I have represented many different clients. I am proud that in every representation, I have made the best possible arguments for all of my clients. Do you want to say anything to people of Puerto Rico? When the debt crisis kicked off, the courts froze all of the assets, all of Puerto Rico's assets, to make sure that everybody got their fair share and was paid out in accordance with the law and that normal people who bought bonds would get their fair share, right? I mean, I've got it right so far? Yes, Senator. So you, however, you, on behalf of your clients, you invented a novel claim. You filed a lawsuit under the takings clause. Is that right? That's correct, Senator. So you, you argued that the government was stealing from the hedge funds by freezing all of the funds. And if they pursued that, that course of action and didn't give your clients all of their money first, then they would have violated the U.S. Constitution. It's my clients in that case. Take from the rich you know, or take from the poor to give to the rich. Is that the... The best possible argument. Well, I know. And I, I, listen, I don't doubt... You're t I'm not questioning your, your talent, I understand why they wanted to hire you. Your talent's considerable. I'm just wondering why you thought it was important to deploy it on behalf of these hedge funds to the detriment of everyday citizens who were bearing the cost. And you invented a very, no I mean, it was very novel. Listen, I give you credit. And everybody else thought so too. That's why all the other rich players got in and said, we want to do that. We want to do that. And drug it out for years. I'm, I'm just wondering why you thought that was a good idea. Senator... Jones Day was retained to represent those I heard those that the first clients. time. I'm just wondering why you thought it was a good idea. You could use your considerable talents in any number of cases and ways, means, and methods. You could have said no to representing these clients. You didn't, obviously. In fact, you vigorously defended them to the point of inventing this novel theory, which was quite successful for your very lucrative clients. I'm just wondering why. Senator, I have represented a number of clients over the course of my career.